I explained to you about steam tables, properties of steam, and we did one problem also. I am doing some more problems from the same exercise. I told you that same book. I have taken some more problems. Problem number three. It says, find the mass of, find the mass of, mass of 0.5 cubic meter. 0.5 cubic meter of wet steam wet steam wet steam at 4 bar and 0.8 dry or 80% dry also determine also determine also determine the enthalpy enthalpy of 1 cubic meter of this steam of this steam right here they have given the volume 0.5 cubic meter this is the volume we have a vessel of 0.5 cubic meter in this vessel we have put the steam it is occupying a space of 0.5 kilo 5 cubic meters the pressure is 4 bar and its dryness fraction x is 0.8 that means it is x steam now he says what is the mass of this steam what is the mass mass of this steam. This we have to find out. This is first part. Then next part, second part, he is asking what is H of 1 cubic meter of this same steam. 1 cubic meter. That is double that. What is the uh, enthalpy of that steam? So first we will do this. Always to find mass of steam, mass of steam will be equal to uh, given volume given volume divided by specific volume this is the formula so many kg you will get the mass in kg from this formula now m is equal to given volume is V0 divided by this specific volume depends upon the type of steam whether it is wet dry or superheated if it is here in this case it is wet steam so its specific volume will be x into vg x into vg cubic meters per kg 1 kg of steam at this pressure and at this dryness fraction occupies this much cubic meters of volume so this formula if it was dry steam then it would have been vg only x will be 1. When, when the steam is dry, its dryness fraction, it is 100% dry or x becomes 1. So then it would have been Vg only. If it is superheated steam, they would have given the temperature into capital T soup by capital T sat. Vg into capital T soup by capital T sat, then you would not have had x here. Okay, you, you, you would have had T soup by T sat there. So this is 0.5 cubic meters divided by x is 0.8 now vg value for this pressure i will get from the steam table from the steam table pressure base for uh, vg is 25.54 25.54 cubic meters per kg No, no, sorry. VG is VG is for four bar point four six two three point four six two three cubic meters per kg. 
right now if i do it 0.5 divided by 0.8 divided by 0.4683 if i do i am getting 1.33 or 34 kg 1.34 kg 333 something you are getting you can take it as 1.34 kg next next part so this part is done this part is over next what is the enthalpy or what is the heat in 1 cubic meter of steam at the same this thing now this is wet steam so it will be hf plus x hfg if it is wet steam it will be steam into mass of steam here mass is not known so again this mass will be equal to now you have to take it as 1 divided by 0.8 into 0.4623 it will be twice that twice that 1 divided by 0.8 divided by 0.4623 that will be 2 point 2.7 kg 2.7 kg all right now i have to make a substitution here m is 2.7 into hf sensible heat for 4 bar it is hf is 605 605 plus x is 0.8 into hfg is 2134 2134 so it will be first do this 605 plus 0.8 into 2134 equals uh, multiplied by 2.7 so it will be 6242.94 or you can take it as 6243 6243 kilojoules kilojoules that is the enthalpy of steam enthalpy of 1 cubic meter of steam we have to convert this 1 cubic meter into mass same formula mass will be always v0 by xvg v0 here i will take as 1 x is same and the pressure is same so the value of vg also will remain the same it will be 6243 or roughly that much kilojoules next i am taking another problem problem number problem number 4 1 kg of water so mass is 1 kg mass is 1 kg water at 47.8 degree centigrade 47 point that is the initial temperature of water is heated at constant pressure of 14 bar p is 14 bar this is problem number 4 at a pressure of 14 bar and is converted to steam with 110 degree of superheat means p sup minus t sat that is degree of superheat is 110 degree centigrade 110 degree centigrade determine the quantity of heat supplied what is the quantity of heat supplied that is h is how much take cp for superheated steam this is superheated steam so take 
this as 2.1 kilojoule per kg degree Kelvin. So even if it is not given, we will take this value only. We will take normally 2.1. 2.1 as the specific heat of superheated steel. Now, again what is asked is H. Here, this will be mass. Mass here is 1 kg. So even if you don't multiply, 1 into anything is the same quantity. So even if we don't multiply, it doesn't matter. But anyway, we can have it. Now, because it is superheated steam now, it is Hg, Hg plus Cp into T sup minus T sat, that is degree of superheat, that is directly given as 110 degree centigrade. They can give T sup also, then T sup directly, if they say at so many degree centigrade, it is T sup only. Then T sat will take from the stream table for this pressure minus I told you S W that is specific heat of water into T1. You can do it like this. It's easy. So H is equal to one. Even if you don't put, it doesn't matter. If it is one kg, <laughs> it makes a no difference. Fourteen bar H G. H G is 2790 2790 for 14 bar for this pressure from the steam table it is 2790 if it was just dry steam this would not have been there it would have been only this much but because it is superheated steam you will get that 2.1 into 110 this is direct minus 4.2 you can take it and this is 47.8 degree centigrade so you can do it now if it was wet steam it would have been hf plus x hfg there so it depends upon the condition of steam 2790 plus 2.1 into 110 minus 4.2 into 47.8 47.8 the answer is 2820 2820 kilojoules because it is 1 kg for 1 kg we can write it as per kg 2000 this steam to make this steam at this condition, we have to supply 2820 kilojoules of it to produce 1 kg of steam. That's the answer. Next, I have taken problem number 5. Problem number 5 is like this. Fine. Find the external work done. Find the external work done during evaporation. Internal latent heat HFGI. HFGI. Internal latent heat. Find the external work done during evaporation and the internal latent heat of steam at 8 bar, at a pressure of 8 bar and 0.8 dry 0.8 dry see steam can be wet dry or superheated if it is always they give the pressure the pressure is given and with pressure if they give dryness fraction it is wet steam if they give if they say it is dry then it is dry steam if they give temperature or degree of superheat it is superheated steam. You have to understand that. Right. Now, they are asking external work done during evaporation. External work done during evaporation be denoted by W. This will be 100 100 P 
into because it is wet steel x bg so many kilojoules per kg if they have not given mass it should be assumed as 1 kg per kg if it is anything other than 1 kg you will get into this thing. say external work done is the product of pressure and specific volume specific volume is xvg because it is wet steam and pressure is 100 p that 100 is to convert it from bars to kilo pascals we will multiply it by 100 so 100 into 8 into x is 0.8 vg we have to take from the steam table for that particular pressure for 8 bar pressure 8 bar pressure it is 0 0.2403 0 0.2403 that is the, the vg value of vg for 8 bar i have taken from this new table so this works out to how much 100 into 8 into 0.8 into 0 0.2403 that will be 153.8 153.8 kilojoules per kg next he says internal latent heat internal latent heat This will be actual latent heat absorbed, actual latent heat absorbed by the steam minus external work done during evaporation. This is the definition. So I have called it as HFGI, means internal, HFG is latent heat, HFGI if you put, it means internal latent heat actual latent heat absorbed means because it is wet steam x into hfg it has absorbed it has not absorbed the entire latent heat it has absorbed 80 percent of the latent heat corresponding to this particular pressure minus w this value of w already i have got here so i need not once again multiply that that will be duplication of work so this will be equal to 0.8 into this HFG again I have to see from the steam table for that particular pressure 8 bar pressure HFG is 2048 2048 minus this is 153.8 I have it direct ready made so this will give me the answer what's the answer 0 0.8 into 2048 minus 153.8 will give me 1484 1484 0.6 kilojoules per kg <coughs> If it was anything other than 1 kg into mass here, here we will write simply kilojoules. We don't write per kg. Right? So this is the problem. Next, I have taken one more sixth problem. Sixth problem. From the same exercise, I have taken one more problem, sixth problem. It says, calculate the internal energy, internal energy per kg of steam. For internal energy, we use either U or E. U or E, this represents internal energy. 
per kg means mass is 1 kg even if they don't say it is to be taken if mass is not given you will take it as 1 kg of superheated steam at 10 bar at 10 bar and at 300 degree centigrade if they say at 300 degree centigrade it is T soup T soup so over. Now next he says if this stream is expanded to 1.4 bar so I will call this as P1 T sub 1 there are two pressures P2 is 1.4 bar uh, X2 is 0.8 dry that is 80% dry find the loss of internal energy that is what is u1 minus u2 it has got u1 as the internal energy for this condition now if it comes to this condition how much internal energy this team has lost so that will be u1 minus u2 you have to find out now in the first case it is superheated steam so the formula is you can leave this m but you can have it also because it is superheated steam Hg plus Cp into T sup minus T sat minus 100 P1 Bg1 into capital T sup 1 by capital T sat 1. Here we can substitute these values in degree centigrade but here they have to be values must be substituted in degree Kelvin. Now for this pressure, for this pressure, what pressure? First pressure is 10 bar. So this must be Hg1, P sub 1, P sat 1, so different different values. So for 10 bar Vg1 for 10 bar Vg1 Vg1 is 0 0.1944 0 0.1944 cubic meter per kg Hg1 Hg, Hg1 is 2778, 2778 kilojoules per kg, Hg1 and Psat uh, is Psat1 is 179.9 you can take it as 180 degree only take it as 180 no problem 180 degrees centigrade T at 1 Pg1 now capital T soup 1 will be 300 plus 273 that is 573 degree Kelvin T sat, capital T sat 1 capital T sat 1 will be 180 plus 273 that will be 453 degree Kelvin now U1 make this substitution M is 1 you can leave it also Hg1 2778 right Hg1 plus Cp it is not given if it is not given I can assume it as 2.1 multiplied by 5 uh, this thing 300 minus 180 here minus 
hundred into ten into Vg one point one nine four four into here it should be in degree Kelvin five seventy three divided by four fifty three. So you have to calculate now. First, what I will do, I will do this. 300 minus 180, that is 120. 300 minus 180 is equal to, you put, into 2.1. Multiply. Only this is to be multiplied by this. Plus 2778. I added this. Minus 100 into 10 into 0 0.1944 0 0.1944 into 573 divided by 453 equals 2784 I am getting 2784 Two seven eight four kilojoules per kg. This is the internal energy. For this condition, this is the internal energy. Now, if it is reduced to this condition, what will be the loss of internal energy? For that, I have to find out U2. Now, U2 will be, the stream is wet here. So U2 will be equal to U2 will be equal to M, M is 1, you can leave it uh, HF2 plus HFG2 X2 into HFG2 minus 100 P2 X2 Vg2 so many kilojoules per kg now all these values x2 is known 0.8 all these hf2 hfg2 vg2 we have to find for 1.4 bar so for 1.4 bar one point four bar VG is for one point four bar VG two for P two is one point two three five one point two three five cubic meter per kg VG two HF two HF2 is 458 kilojoules per kg and uh, HFG2 HFG2 is HFG2 is Two three two three three two two three three two kilojoules per kg. These are very printed very small this thing. One point four bar. Two three three two. Uh, two two three two. Two two three two. Two two three two. Kilojoules per kg. Anyway, so U two will be equal to one into HF two four fifty eight plus X two point eight 
into HFG2 2232 minus 100 into X uh, P2 is 1.4 into 0.8 into VG2 is 1.235 so many kilojoules per kg kilojoules so 458 plus 0.8 into 2232 minus 100 into 1.4 into 0.8 into 1.235 will give me 2105 2105 point something that's enough kilojoules per kg now u will be equal to loss will be equal to u1 minus u2 that is 2784 minus 2105 uh, 2784 minus 2105 will give me 679 679 kilojoules per kg this is the amount of internal energy lost by 1 kg of steam when its condition changes from this to this okay friends <coughs>